Hi everyone, you're all very welcome to another interview here with Alpha Capital Group in our trader series. So today we've got Krishnan who's based in New York, uh, one of our very, very successfully funded traders um, with us today. So obviously Krishnan, very, very welcome today. Obviously, thank you very much for, for joining us on the call. And of course, um, obviously looking to hear more about you today and um, obviously more about your story and obviously more about you in terms of what you look at, how you trade. And of course, about uh, your background as well. So obviously, Krishnan, do you want to introduce us uh, to, to the audience? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you and the ACG uh, family for having me on. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, my name is Krishnan Reinhardt, y'all. I live in New York. Uh, originally, I'm from Guyana. Um, yeah, that's pretty much simple. <laughs> it is. It's simple, simple, but effective. Simple, but effective. I suppose, yeah. uh, Krishna, to, to maybe give people a little bit of background on you, um, how long have you been trading for? Uh, well, Forex, uh, two years. But my trading career started back in uh, 2008 when we had a recession over here. And, um, you know, was laid off from, from my job, you know, needed income, you know, bills still had to be paid. Uh, so I'm like, you know, I'm home. Let me pick up something, you know, let me, let me find extra income, what, you know, to, to bring in. So I did this when I picked up stocks. I started learning about stocks, option, you know, binary option at the time. Um, I did dabble a little bit in the Forex market, but didn't really take it too serious at that time. And, you know, it was a different ball game back then. You know, it's uh, the Forex for you to get a, a standard, it was only standard or a mini, you know, account. And to get a standard account, you had to have, uh, deposit 25K, you know, <laughs> who has that, right? Mm. But um yeah it's, you know it started there and then um you know for a year or two you know I stopped it and then you know fast forward to 2019 you know just before COVID um you know that's when forex start you know hitting you know social media like it's, it was just like everything it was just bam in your face mm. you know you had traders you know whether they're legit or not you know they're showing off money flashing money Lamborghinis and you know all that crazy stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, there was one guy, you know, he, he caught my eye. Um, I didn't, you know, hopped on it that time, you know, and then we all know what happened, you know, right after COVID hit. Uh, and again, you know, was, you know, out of work, you know, bills still got to be paid. Now I have, you know, two young daughters. Um, so, you know, still need, you know, income coming in regardless. So I'm like, you know what, let me pick back up trading, but I didn't want to do stocks. I'm like, you know what, stocks is not for me. It's not my personality. It's a little too slow. You know, let me let me give this, you know, Forex a try. And yeah, I just I looked at this guy, I looked at all of his videos, and you know, he was just like an average drill. And I'm like, you know what, if this guy can can do it, so can I. Hmm. And then, you know, that's when I started, and I that's when I started my journey. And yeah, you know, two years later, this is where I'm at. Okay, unreal, unreal. So a, a good obviously, and I suppose with family and two little girls, uh, two little two little kids. Uh, it's it's obviously not easy, of course. Busy household trying to trade around that is obviously, I'm sure, very very busy as well. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, yeah. So I suppose when, when you're saying forex, is there any particular currencies you focus on? Are you are you dollar denominated? Obviously, because you're based in the US, do you focus on the dollar? Do you look at different things? What are you looking at there in terms of in terms of the FX uh, side of it? Uh, no, not really, man. Uh, when I when I started, I I started. Um, you know, trading the Asian session because, you know, it was, it was a little more convenient. I, I want to say because it, it, no market open, you know, six, seven, um, I'm up that time, you know, most of the time, like, uh, when I was, you know, working or, you know, the kids was in school, mm -hmm. it's really hard to, you know, get up at three o'clock, you know, trade London session, you know, and in New York, you know, I was still at work. So mm -hmm. it was a little tough for those sessions. So I, I, I kind of, you know, start learning and trading, you know, on the, the Asian, on to this day, I'm, I'm still there. I mean, now I'll do, you know, I'll do London if I see a setup, I'll do, you know, New York if I see a setup, but um, yeah, most of my trades are, you know, basically, you know, in the Asian session, because that's, that's where I started. That's where I learned, you know, everything. And, you know, that's, that's where it started from. Yeah. I suppose it's very criteria based that if, if, if a certain setup meets a certain criteria, then, then you're obviously happy to take it. So it's not just exclusive. I think it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. I mean, um, my, my, my style of trading is, it's pretty easy, man. It's, you know, um, it's just simple. Like I tell everyone, it's, you know, support resistance, um, Japanese candlestick patterns and, uh, you know, price action, right. That's, that's, that's all it is. It, that's, hmm. Just simple like that. That's easy. But what I tell people is like, 
you know, even the, for newer traders or beginners, right? First thing is find out what kind of trader you are. You know, that's number one. Find out what trader are you. Are you a swing trader? Are you a day trader? Are you a scalper? And then after that, okay, find a strategy that works for you. Like for me, I took like three different traders strategy and mix and combine it to my, you know, to my personality. So, to, to, you know, where I can, you know, it means me like that's And that's the thing too, like find a strategy that works for you, you know, like your personality. If you, if you're a calm, you know, collect kind of person, you like to, you know, wait out of markets and all like, okay, that's fine. Me, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm a hybrid. I'm aggressive, you know, um, I'm like fast paced. So I like to be in, you know, I yeah. could be out like all it. So yeah, it's, you have to, like, that's, I think that's a key right here. Like, mm-hmm. you know, find out what kind of, you know, trader you are mm-hmm. and to find a strategy that, you know, fits your personality, you know? That's that's what it is, and and that's what I did. You know, um, yeah. I I did I even did courses. You know, I did the Baby Pips course, which I would recommend. You know, honestly, it's it's a really good course. And even at the end of it, you know, it, it kind of, you know, from the 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 course and the, the I, I believe they have like you know a couple you know uh, questions at the end of it, and it kind of dictates what trader you are. And you know, when I did it, that's what I came out. You came out like I was a hybrid, you know, aggressive trader and. To be honest, that's what I am. Yeah, I think it's interesting because like it's not a one shoe fits all approach that everyone is different. Everyone looks at the markets differently. And I think you, ha- you have to really find out what works for you as an individual, because what works for you might necessarily work for the next guy or the previous trader. Um, I think that's really, really important as well. Um, so I presume basing on kind of what you're saying, you're solely a technical guy. Um, am, am I right to say that? Do you incorporate volume? Do you look at fundamentals in any way? Or are you just yeah I'm, pure price action guy? No, I, I'm, I, when I first started, I was uh, purely price action technical, but I got I got hit a couple of times on news and you know, um, and you know just to go back, I actually when I started, I started you know I, I demoed you know that's another thing too like you know newer traders probably don't do it you know often. Um, before I went live, I, I demoed and I back tested my strategy for six months straight before I went live. And then I read somewhere, you know, to be honest, I wish I kept it. I read somewhere, if you can go five days without losing a trade, you're ready for the live market. And that's when I, you know, I deposit uh, $300 of my own money, you know, uh, within four days, I took it to 900 Friday, I lost it all um, because of news. Yeah. Uh, next week, you know, same thing, deposit three again, you know, Thursday, took it to 900 again, Friday, lost it all again in news. Um, then third week, same thing. This time I took the 1200 again, lots it on Friday. So, you know, that's when I'm like, you know, like, listen, Chris, like, this is what you want to do full time. You know, this, you could, you like this, you know, time to buckle down, time to, you know, get said, like, stop the nonsense. Let's go. Let, let and go. yeah. Yeah. So since then, like, you know, I, I do pay attention to news. It was not, you know, so I'm more like, I'll say like 85, 90, you know, technical, 15, 10, you know, fundamental. I do pay attention before I place my trade. I want to make sure if there's any high news coming out anytime soon, you know. So, yeah, I do, you know, I do pay attention to that. Super, super. And you're obviously, you're obviously quite an aggressive trader as your monthly pay this um, this month would, would, would suggest. Yeah. So um, I, I believe, well, from, from speaking with Alex as well, uh, 24,000 payout um obviously substantial but it shows um like if you've got a plan and you're willing to stick to it and you're being conscientious of the of the downside i think that's important and then it's obviously risk reward i think that and, and i'm sure you'd probably you'd probably definitely agree with, with 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 that there um so i think that's really interesting so i suppose from a guy and this is obviously great that we're kind of developing the conversation from a guy who started out blowing 300 uh dollar accounts or, or getting up and then obviously blowing it how did you find from the emotional uh, mindset, the the psychology elements? How did you find? How were you able to overcome that? Because obviously, you've, going from where you were then, making money wasn't a problem. It was more the keeping of us, if that makes sense. So I suppose now you've gone yeah. kind of one hundred and eighty, which is hugely progressive within your own trading career. Yeah, uh, for sure, man. Um, and you know, here, here's the thing too. Like when it comes to motion and and uh, risk to reward. I, I I'm like I'm I'm a guy like when I, I like to love I love helping people you know and that's how I am even you know I'm, I'm always you know looking to get better myself too so I always said I'm like there's there's no guru there's no professional trader no one can teach you emotions no one can teach you you know risk management you have to learn it on your own you know um, you know unfortunately it 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 does it you know it takes some time you know it takes time it takes learning 
I lost a lot of money, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, there's nothing to be lied about, but I'm, you know, in a way I'm, I'm, I'm proud and humble that I did lose those because it taught me, you know, to be, you know, it, it get my emotions in check, you know, not to, you know, over leverage, even though there's times I do over leverage, right, you know, um, but again, that's just me being aggressive. Um, but yeah, when it comes to emotion, I, I kind of learned it, you know, trading off of my own live account. Mm. Um, you know, I had ups and downs, I had withdrawals, I had, you know, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, in one, you know, one day, I, I lost like 12000 on on gold. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the motion, yeah, it does kick in, but I try to tell everybody, listen, in, in when it comes to trading, you got to have, you got to have amnesia. Because you, you, if you take a loss today, you got to forget about it and come back tomorrow with a fresh mind, clear mind, so, you know, you can continue going. You know, don't 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 chase, don't revenge. You know, trade because that's that's when it becomes worse. You know, instead of losing one thousand, two thousand, you know, you you end up losing five, six, you know, and more, right? But yeah, to the emotions. If what I can say, I I can honestly, for new or uh, beginner traders, like you know, get a get a start with a live account. You know, just to get that feel of it. You know, because when you when you have that live account, it's your own money. You know, you have the feel. You can. You know, that's when you learn about yourself. You know, you learn about your emotion and how to deal with it. But if you're using a demo account, you know, it's uh, that's another thing too. Like I, I encourage people to use a demo, but there's a certain way to use it. You know, most demo account would, you know, start you with a hundred thousand or two hundred or ten thousand. I'm like, listen, don't don't use it because in reality, you're not going to deposit a hundred thousand. You're not going to deposit ten thousand. You know, set it to uh, a realistic a realistic amount. You know, are you going to deposit a thousand? Ask them to set it to a thousand, you know, ask them to set it to 500. And I, and I was, you know, fortunate enough when I started the broker I use, you know, that was there, was the amount was a thousand. And even though I had a thousand, you know, that's when I start understanding how the price move, you know, the, you know, you know, per dollar, stuff like that. And it, it helped a lot because like I said, you know, that's where a lot of trading get around too. They, you know, they have a 10,000 account or you know, a demo or a thousand demo and they're going big lots, 10, 20, yeah, they'll make quick money. I'm like, oh man, now I'm ready. But if it deposit five or you know five hundred or a thousand dollars, doing the same thing, I'm gonna blink and buy. It's all gone, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, try to be realistic. But um, yeah, man, emotions you have to learn that on your own. Like nobody can teach you. I mean, you could read all the books, you can listen to the gurus, the professionals, but no, you have to honestly. Like, and that's me, honestly. I think that's what it is. Like, mm -hmm. no one can teach you. You have to learn on your own. Mm -hmm. I think it's important as well, knowing the value of money, um, knowing that if you have 500 or a thousand or 20 grand or whatever, knowing that there is a finite supply of cash or equity that you can trade with. And I think that's really, really ultimately very, very important as well, because that reinforces that the mindset, emotions uh, and, and everything that goes along with it. Um, so yeah. I, I know you've mentioned there, obviously, the, the past, the present, um, when you're taking positions um do you scale in because i know obviously you're talking a bit about the aggressive side how do you i suppose structure your plan like do, will you take multiple positions will you scale in will you leave single positions with higher maybe position sizing relative relative to your own risk profile how do you approach that yeah so when, when i started um i used to and this is you know like my again with my life account um again i only had like 300 you know in the year, so my lot size was always like point, you know, three zero, point two zero, but I always have like three, you know, mm. like uh, I guess you could say stacking maybe trades. And a lot of people ask me like, man, why do you, why don't you just go with one lot, you know, just just have one trade? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I just, you know, started that way. I, I got used to it, and you know, there's times I'm like, it's it can be it can be many things, you know. I can you know close to have one run in, you know. It's it's just I was you know, I taught myself that way. So if it's comfortable for me and that's the thing, like, you know, everybody's different. Every trade is different. You know, you have to find your, your comfortable, you know, what the style you trade and how you trade. And I don't, you know, I don't know if we touched on this yet, but I don't use risk reward. You know, I don't do a one-to-one. -one. I don't chase pips. I don't, you know, do that. I, when I started, I treat this as a business. Like this is my business. This is going to pay me. This is going to, you know, give me my lifestyle. I want to live, you know, this is going to, you know, help my family out, pay out the bills. So I treat it as a business. So when I place a trade, I always, I'm like, okay, you know what? What am I willing to lose on this trade? I never be like, like okay, I want to make, you know, 500 or a thousand. No. Um, for example, like, you know, I place a trade now. I'm like, okay, I'm willing to lose 2000. 
right? And to be honest, two thousand on a two hundred k account, you know, what is that? One uh, percent. Yep. Yeah. Right. But I don't. I don't look. Like I said, I don't. I don't look to risk reward. I don't do one to one. I don't check. You know, I don't risk one percent. I'm. I'm aggressive. But that's how I do it. You know, like I said, if it goes against me, I'm like, okay, I'm wanting to lose three thousand. If it goes against me, right? I have a mental stop. I don't use stop loss. I don't use take profit. Everything's all mental. So you know, I I keep that in mind. So if it comes to to three thousand, okay, close the trade. You know, close the chart. Come back tomorrow. Start again. You know, again. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, for the take profit, I have a daily goal. I I started using a daily goal, and I I'm still using a daily goal. And it you know obviously it grew. You know, in the live account with three hundred, my daily goal was to make you know a hundred a hundred to hundred twenty dollars. You know, per day. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, as I got better, I increased and increased and increased. So now, you know, with my account size and and you know the way I trade and and my you know confident in myself and my my setups, and my strategy, it's right now my daily goal is to make anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred plus. If I make it, that's good. That's my daily goal. If not, that's fine. You know, I try to tell people all a little thing adds up. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, let's let's say you know I I do trade every day i trade like five days a week yeah. right so let's let's assume you know every day i make you know nine hundred dollars you know per day right times five that's forty five hundred you know which which job you know pays you that you know not even government job pays you that kind of right no and not what many are we doing? jobs make it that much money yeah you know so and, and what are we doing we're just sitting down you know doing what we love you know mm -hmm. and to be honest 900 per day that can take me five minutes ten minutes you know, sometimes it take me one hour, two, three hours, but that's how I am, you know? And and that's the thing. You're like, I I don't, you know, like I said, I don't chase pips. I don't count pips. I don't, you know, do a one-to-one. -one, I don't know. my I just, it's, I just have a daily goal. Targets. And, you know, yeah, I, I, I try to encourage people to try it out, you know? Don't, because if you're chasing 20 pips per day, what if you're on one trade and it comes to 18, 19? Are you not going to close your trade, man? You're probably up. You know, good. Like, why wait for that, that one more pick when it can just reverse right there, right? Yeah, certainly. So, but I mean, listen, everybody has their own, you know, their own way, their own yeah. style, and that's fine. But, you know, I, I, I tell you, take what the market gives you. Mm -hmm. You know, if it gives you this amount, just take it. Like, if there's always tomorrow, man. Yeah. All, the little adds up, you know, 200, 300, you know, 200 by five, that's a thousand dollars a week, you know, for doing what? Right, so yeah. that's that's how I look at it. Like I said, I, I treat it as a business. When you when you look at it see, over a year, a, a thousand a week, it's it's fifty grand a year. Do you know from for 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 little to no time potentially? Do you know well obviously depending on on the individual itself. Um, I yeah, I, I, I think, think that's, that's a, it's really interesting. I think that's really really interesting. Sorry, I'm, I'm after interrupting there. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, but like yeah, look look at it that way. You know, fifty thousand, fifty thousand over here. That's a pretty painful job, man. Mm. You know. And you know the difference is, you're you know you're busting you you know behind a nine to five to get it. Here you know you're doing what you love, right? It could take you you know it, it even takes you two or three hours. Take it you know, who who pays you two or three hours you know you know you know divided by nine hundred who gives you three hundred dollars an hour? Mm. Not even government jobs. Yeah, uh, very few organizations are paying that type of money. <laughs> of course, yeah, so, of course. Yeah, that's um, the way I look at it. So I, I suppose as well with, with your, I, so when you talk about there, the 200s, the 300s, I presume you're constantly reviewing your data, reviewing your information, looking at your targets, looking at your objectives. Do you look at the trading journal? Do you, do you journal anything? Are you, are you taking that into consideration? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, when I first started, I used to, but okay. as I got, yeah, as, as I got uh, more into it, I, I don't keep a journal. Because everything, it's I try to keep it in my mind. You know, I understand, you know, why I take a trade, right? So, I, and it was crazy because I, I went back and I, like, this is how I actually journal when I started, even though we had computer and phones, right? Yeah. But this kind of worked for me. Like, I'll just show you, like, look at this. Pen, pen and paper. <laughs> Good old pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it does help, it, it, you know, as a, as a new trader, it does help because, yeah. I'm, you know, when, when the market's closed on a weekend, you know, Friday night, Saturday, you know, before I go hang out or whatever, I'll open, you know, the journal and I'll go through it. And I, I mm. literally wrote everything down from why did I take the trade, you know, um, how much position I use, you know, what did I see at the time? What setup did I saw um, on, you know, each? Did I win a trade? Did I lose a trade? Why did I lose it? Why did I win it? And it does help, you know. And like I said, I, I stopped over time because, you know, I now I, I fully, you know, understand why I lost a trade or why, 
you know experience i want to yeah 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 but um yeah a lot of people still do it i mean now like i said it's easy the dashboard have it you know you go there you know on, on the trading journal just click on the right side just mm -hmm. a few notes you know just yeah. keep a few notes like hey but, but you know always whether you win or lose why did you you know why did you win the trade why did you lose it mm -hmm. so that way you know you get better you understand why you know maybe you know you got it early but yeah you still want to trade next time you just okay not to get it early you know wait for you know maybe it came to an area you know uh it came to one of your you know maybe support resistance line or you know whatever you have you know uh, the way you trade but um yeah it's it's a good thing to, to keep on it just i haven't been doing it so 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 much but i suppose that goes back to the old adage if, if you're not if you're not earning you're learning and you're constantly developing and, and progressing and, and getting better, obtaining knowledge, making yourself, I suppose, that enhanced because rather than kind of hitting a plateau and then kind of leveling off, you kind of want to strive to be better and better. And I think that's the good thing. And I think you're identifying that as well. That's something that you've constantly worked on. Um, oh, I'm, of, of course. I'm still working on it, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, 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 for me, it's, it's, it's never learning. It's never ending learning, I should say, mm -hmm. because, you know, when I, when I have my free time, I'm always on my phone, like trying to perfect my, you know, my strategy. And, and that's, a, that's a thing I like to tell other people to like, just try to perfect it, you know, make it better. Like, you know, maybe you can, you know, you don't have to change it, you know, maybe you want to add something to it, you know, maybe you know, to help you get a better, you know, entry or a better exit, or maybe you see something better, right? Just, just keep working and working. And that's the thing, like, I'm always learning. I'm always you know, YouTube and video, you know, yeah, YouTube is free music, right? Mm -hmm. Um the internet, like I said, and I'm and I, I was self-taught, you know, even even when I did stocks, I, I self-taught FX, I was self-taught, you know, I was reading, I was <laughs> you know, during COVID, I was getting like three hours, you know, a day sleep. I was get up, you know, reading, you know, learning, reading, learning, demoing. And you know, that's that's what it is, you know. And like I said, you put in the hard work, it's gonna pay off in the end. I've you know, yeah. I've, I've blown accounts, you know, like I've blown accounts, I lost money. Um, but the thing is not to give up, you know, you don't give up. The day you give up, that's that's a real losing right there. Mm -hmm. You know, you lose the trade, that's fine. You can always make that back, you know. But the day you decide to give up and 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 you know, quit on this, I think that's the day you actually, you know, you lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, very much so, very much so. Very interesting, interesting. And I suppose um, looking back over your journey, um, how would you define uh, what a good trader is or, or what do you think are the qualities that a good trader needs to have in present day? Um, to be honest, I think everybody's a good trader in their own retrospect, right? Because again, not everybody's the same. Not everybody trades the same way, you know? So I think everybody is a good trader. But one, you know, one or two qualities that, you know, are really good trading to have is, you know, obviously the consistency, right? And, you know, keep your emotions in check and your risk to reward. However your risk to reward is, you know, that's what it is. But I think those, those three, you know, for sure, you know, you got to have the confidence, you know, you have to have confidence. If you don't, you know, don't, don't double guess their setup, you know, that's, that's, if, if your buyer's telling you to, you know, to buy this, you know, pair or, or sell it, you know, stick with it, but have, have, you know, have other confidence that is telling you, okay, this is the reason to buy, or this is the reason to sell. Because when you start, you know, double guessing your, your strategy or yourself, you know, it, it'll go wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got to have confidence for sure, you know, and like I said, just, you know, stick with it, keep working on it, you know, and perfect it. And again, you know, emotions got to, you know, yeah. You know, we all go through it as a young, you know, starting out trader, we all go through it, but you know, some learn quicker than than others, and that's fine. You know, it's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, everybody has their own pace of learning. And but once you get it in check, you'll see a, a total different side of, of you trading. You know, then you won't, you know, you won't close trade too early, you know, or you won't, you know, you'll profit more, man. It's mm -hmm. it's you know, but those are the three I think, you know, a really good trader should have. But like I said, I think all of us are good traders in our own way, right? But to get better is just to have those three, you know, in check. Yeah. And, and, and being able to develop that edge just to give you that winning probability. You know, I think that's, that's, yeah, I, I completely agree. I, I genuinely completely agree. Um, and I suppose then like when the progression comes, when the development comes, when the learning comes, that's when you start to enjoy it more. Like I was, I was chatting to a guy this morning myself. I don't think I've ever enjoyed trading as much um, beforehand. And I'm sure you're probably the same. Now that aside, what are the, things that you enjoy most about being a trader 
are working as a trader. Yeah. Okay, so quick, maybe a quick sign up. So I have a couple of trades running. I'm actually up to that. I'm about to close off. So just give me a second. <laughs> no problem. So e e even when we're even when we're chatting and doing the interview, you're still making money. <laughs> yeah. I, Low yeah. So what's crazy, I you know, I held this trade, you know, for uh I got in around six, uh, I want to say like six, six fifteen. Yeah. Um around that time, you know, and I held it. And I'll tell you why too. Like, and this is why I want I want other younger traders or new traders or Whoever, buddy, you know, they, they always, some people don't get away a trade, right? So maybe this will probably, you know, help them out. But I closed all trades, you know, for mm -hmm. $2,095, right? So there you go. It made my daily goal. I'm done for the day. <laughs> you know, I'll come back tomorrow. And again, right. it's, you know, so the reason why I took this trade, and this is on the New Zealand USD, right? Um, when I opened a chart, I saw the, uh, I believe it was the four hour, uh, was, you know, um, was tapping up, you know, uh, this area, and then I looked at the one hour, right? It was creating uh, a shooting star, and those are my, <laughs> those are what I trade, you know, which kind of see patterns, right? Yeah. And obviously, support resistance mm -hmm. and so on, basically. Yeah. So I saw it and I, I sold it. So my first three uh, trade, it, it, it came in profit, you know, 600. I should have closed it, but I actually was headed to the airport and it went up against me, you know, I held it, you know, that's fine. And like I said, I have a mental stop, right? I know when to get out. Uh, it went back, I came up, I actually got in three more. So I ended up putting, you know, six, uh, six lots on there, right? Well, six, five lots, I should say. Um, and yeah, I held it, you know, it came, went, you know, it came up, uh, I was drawn in like over like 5,000, right? But I'm like, you know, okay, for this trade, I'm willing to lose uh, roughly six. You know, I was willing to lose that because I know, again, I trust myself. I trust my strategy. I know if I, if I lose this today, I know I can make it back tomorrow or the next day. I don't have to one chase, you know, if tomorrow gives me a thousand or two thousand, I'll take it and just keep, you know, building myself up. Yes. And that's what happened. Even, even, you know, before I got, um, you know, withdraw, that's what happened. You know, I, I, I lost, uh, you know, quite a couple of days, but I didn't chase it. You know, I, I'm like, okay, you know what? Relax, come back tomorrow. Let's start fresh. Let's go. And that's what I came back. I made back half and just kept on going. Right. But that's the thing. Like, what I'm trying to teach, you know, other traders, like have patience, let the market, you know, do what it have to do. Right. Once it meets your setup, like I know it's going to come down. Right. I, I saw it, you know, I saw the zone it was tapping into. I know it's going to reject. I saw the one hour, you know, even I don't really, I don't trade on the 15. I'm, you know, trade, you know, off of the four or one hour, but you know, I see the setup. I see it just keep tapping and tapping. So I'm like, it's going to come. And, you know, eventually it did come. Right. But that's just the way I trade. You know, I, I, you know, I, I can make money quick, you know, and that's what I tell people. I can be, the way I trade, I can make money as a scalper, like five, 10 minutes. I mean, and out. it can, I can hold it for an hour, two hours. I can hold it for three, four, you know, once I make my daily goal. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that was just a quick, uh, you know, digress. Well, um, yeah. I, I totally forgot the question you asked about. <laughs> I, well, I, I can't even remember myself. <laughs> I, I think uh, it was sure. like, what, what was, uh, yeah, sorry. It was the, uh, what is what do you find to be the most enjoyable part of trading? Um, freedom, freedom of time. Okay, that's number one, right? Freedom of time, because I, you know, I did many things, you know, trying to make you know make a living. You know, I do, you know, honestly, I'm a you know real estate investor also on the side, right? Yeah. Um, so I have I have you know a couple of rental properties and stuff like that. Um, I did, you know, used to work nine to five. Um, but something with Forex, I saw that, you know, that can give me, you know, freedom of time. You know, it wasn't, mo it wasn't about becoming a millionaire. Like that's one thing, like, you know, no one will, will hear me say, I want, I want to become a millionaire. No, I want to make enough money where I'm comfortable. You know, I don't have to wear bills. I can, you know, give my kids what they want, you know, give my wife what she wants. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's all it is for me. You know, like the freedom of time. And, you know, when, when I, before I got my, my, cause I have two young girls. So before I got them, I, you know, family, friends, even strangers, they always tell me the same exact thing. Like, oh man, I wish I had more time for my kids. You know, that I used to work, you know, or maybe away or on the road or just, just was working constantly. You didn't have time. So I, I kind of took that to heart. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to make the same mistake. Like, I want to enjoy my kids. I want them to grow up. I want to see them grow up, you know? Yeah. And 
that was my goal is like to to find a way to to get that freedom of time back. And like I said, when when Forgus came out, you know, unfortunately it was you know bad time. It was COVID, but that that was maybe was meant for me at that time, yeah. right? Yeah. And like I said, you know, I saw this guy and I just felt I'm I'm like, you know, that's that's what I'm like. This is for me. Like this is this doesn't give me you know my lifestyle. You know, I want to live my my time, my freedom. You know, I can take you know, take my kids, you know, where you want to go, give them what they want, you know, mm -hmm. take my family, my wife, you know, you know, whatever, go hang out for the weekend, wherever, travel, mm -hmm. right? But that, that's, that was, you know, for me, it's, it's a freedom of time, you know, right? Then the second, obviously, you know, was financial freedom. But freedom of time is is definitely, definitely, you know, my number one. Yeah, that's, that's fascinating, I suppose, as well, with, with two young kids. As you said, Asaf, you want to be there, you want to watch them grow up, you don't want to be working in a job, not, not, not necessarily a dead end job, but 70, 60, 70, 80 hours a week and being away from family, not seeing them. I think that's, that's a massive thing. I think life's for a living, not for, not for paying someone else's salary. You know, I think that's the luxury. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I mean, if, if other traders who have kids or they have, you know, use that as a, as a motivation, you know, use it, use it to, to, to help you, you know, strive for better. Right whatever it is you want to do, but, you know, get some motivation. And, you know, here's the thing a lot of people don't talk about. We all are traders, and you know, whatever we do, whatever we trade, but nobody talks about support. And to be honest, I think that's a big thing. I think, you know, whether you're new, you're advanced, whatever, you got to have support. You know, you need, you need to support. And, you know, I'm lucky that, you know, my wife is saying I started, you know, even money, you know, I lost and stuff and things like that. You know, you know, she obviously she does it's mad, right? But she's there, she's always, you know, supporting me. She's always, you know, still keeping me on track, like, hey, like, you know, if if, if I'm up like, you know, two thousand or a thousand or whatever, just like just take it, let's, you know, that's just that's it, close up, let's go. Like, you know, you don't need to go for, you know, for that, right? And plus I have my brother, my you know, my parents. So you know, again, a lot of people don't talk about it, but you know. I think everybody should have a support system, you know, whether it be your parents, you know, your spouse, your, your, you know, significant other girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, husbands, whoever, you know, that, that's the thing because there's times as a trader, you're, you're going to be down, you know, you, you're going to have this, especially if you're in a losing streak, you know, which I went through and I was down and, you know, thank God, like I said, you know, I had the support and, you know, the encouragement and, you know, telling me, you know, just take a break, relax, get your mind right. And you know, come back because if not, if, if the support wasn't there, to be honest, I would probably wouldn't be here today. And you know, again, I, I think that's you know something uh well, I haven't heard any trader talk about it, but you know, I think that should be, you know, on every trader's you know list is to have a support system, whatever you know, whoever it is, could be even even friends, right? But you know, positive support, right? And and that, and that's the thing, man. Yeah, and as well. Another thing is with trading, often it can be quite lonely. Um, like if you're trading at home or whatever, it, it, like it's not as if you're in an office environment where you've got maybe 10, you could be talking to 10, 20 people a day. You're you're there, you're focusing, you're looking at certain things. It can be quite a lonely environment. So I, I think I, I, again, echoing exactly what you're saying there in terms of support and um, I suppose that structure around you is often very, very important as well. Yeah, definitely so. Definitely so. So I suppose then going forward, considering where you've come from in terms of the more recent past, but obviously the longer past and where you are now, uh, do you have plans, objectives for the next 12 months, the next three years? Do, do you make plans? Do, do you kind of look to say, well, I'd like to scale up or I'd like to increase profits or do, 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 you, do, you, look at, do you look ahead of time? Oh, for sure. I, I think we all need to, man, because that way, you know, you set a goal to strive for it. And, uh, you know, even the scale up, right? I, you know, I should be scaling up today, you know, so I have to reach back out to Alex to see what's going on. But um, yeah, I would love to keep scaling up, right? And um, Because you've, correct me if I'm wrong, you've just scaled up, haven't you? Um, you you're just in the process of scaling up now at the minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think uh, Alex said, you know, today he'll get it sorted out. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, keep, keep working, you know, on my strategy, keep getting better, you know. Get, you know, better yourself, you know, um, yeah, scale up. And I, I, my long-term goal is, is just, just to be, keep doing this consistently. Right. And, you know, here's the thing, like I, you know, some of the churches might say, you know, let's, let's change for 20 or let's change for 30. Like, no, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm like, 
whatever I can get, I'll take, man. Like, that's how I am. Like, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to prove anything. You know, I don't think any trading needs to prove anything, mm-hmm. right? If the if you're if you you know can withdraw, you know, every two weeks, you know, two thousand, four thousand, whatever it is. You know, I'm a numbers guy, so that's why I'm like that. You know, yes. I love math, so yeah, you know, that's the way I look at it. I mean, if I can withdraw, you know, four thousand every two weeks, that's eight grand for a month, man. I'm telling you, like times that by twelve, you know, that's ninety. What is that? Ninety six hundred. Yeah, uh, ninety six grand. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ninety six thousand. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the way I look at it. I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, like another guy asked me like, you know, cause I was chatting with him, you know, in the, in the same, you know, um, ACG uh, group, he was like, man, are you going to go for like 25, 30? I'm like, to be honest, I'm not even looking for that. You know, I don't want to be remembered for a one hit wonder, you know, I want to be consistent. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, every week I can withdraw. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, I mean, goals you know is just to get better better myself you know help others like i love helping people man you know you can you know ask everybody in the chat i'm always helping i love it i love helping because here's my thing like i tell them i'm like we all in the same boat you know we all in the the same path you know to get to the same destination right and i if if i can help just one or two you know other you know persons get to that goal you know I'm happy. Like that makes me happy. Like that's just my person. That's just like yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you definitely. know, so I'm always yeah. helping, man. I'm always helping. And, and like I said, we're all, you know, mm-hmm. different paths, but we all trying to get to the same destination. Based, yeah. Right. Some people are just further along but, that path, but we're all heading in the same direction. We're all looking yeah, at it. Exactly. Yeah. But my ultimate goal, my ultimate, ultimate goal is right now my daughter, they're eight and nine. Mm-hmm. So my ultimate goal when they reach I'll I want to say 12, 13 is to you know, teach them this, teach them, you know, forex trading, you know, teach them investing, mm-hmm. right? Because, you know, it's not, you know, there's other means of making, you making, you know, an income. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go to college, you know, waste, you know, X amount of dollars to, to do something yeah. you probably won't be doing when you come out, you know, you get a degree just to hang yeah. yeah. Right. Particularly um, in the US because obviously college tuition is so expensive. Man, I, to be honest, I don't know why people go to college here. Because it's just it's just a waste of money to be honest. And it is, you know, that, that's what that's to be honest, that's what the college system is set up over here. Mm-hmm. It's just to make money. Mm-hmm. You know, but um yeah, it's just to show them that you don't have to go to college to to you know to waste money, you know, waste four years, you know, six, eight years of your life, you know, to probably you will probably won't do something that you'd love to do or you know, you won't mm-hmm. be happy with it. So yeah. you know, I want to show them like there's other way, like you know, this is you know, this is what daddy does, right? Like here, try it. If, you, if it. if it works, then it works. Like if not, that's fine. But I want to, you know, I want to show them that here it's possible. Like there's there's other ways. Like that's and that's my ultimate goal. You know. Sure, for sure, for sure. And obviously, by that time, they'll be very proud as well because you'll have many years of of tried and tested. Obviously, but 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 no. But all joking aside, as well. No, that's brilliant. Uh, and I think as well, setting the example for them is also very very important as well to make sure that, like obviously financial illiteracy is massive now that a lot of people it, it, the way the system is they're just trained to be employees they're trained to be workers they don't they're not nearly encouraged to think for themselves or try and allow them to to prosper you know and i, I think that's obviously a, a massive shame with society but look that's that's a conversation for a different day well uh, yeah. chris well, yeah. Even, yeah jennifer even even that saying that right just like society and, and you know what you know what it teaches you. It's it's the same way. So a lot of people ask me, man, you don't use stop loss, you know. And I'm like, you know what? When I first started, you know, yeah, I used to use it. I'm not gonna lie, I used to use it. And you know, what is what does the society teach you? What is the, the gurus and you know the so-called professionals? What do they teach you? Oh, okay, you know, put your stop loss. You know, uh, you know the previous high or the previous low, or whatever. And majority of the time, you know, what happened? You know, price will come, knock you out, right, and just reverse back to go where it's going, right? And, you know, like I said, I read it wrong. It can be speculation. It can be, you know, a myth, you know, but everybody's all back know where the monies are, right? Because obviously they teach you, you know, like I said, the gurus and so-called, they teach you this is where you place. So every, every trader, you know, you know, the same sheet, they always go right. It plays the stop loss right there, right? And I, like I said, it happened to me many times. And, and I'm like, no, man, this has, there has to be some truth to this. Mm. And so that's why I don't use stop loss anymore. Everything is mental, right? I have it. Uh, mental stop loss but it's it's not above the previous high you know i'm, I'm probably looking for an area of you know okay. you know of confluence very price style you know something like that 
you know, sure. and, and that's, that's the thing. Like, even like with that, you know, I try to let people understand, even though I don't use stop loss, doesn't mean, you know, it's wrong or something. It's just, you know, I believe everybody was taught that way. And, you know, that's, that's where the, you know, the big, the big boys know that's where everybody plays the stop loss. And we still see that to this day, you know, 99% of the time they push money, you know, push prize there just to, you know, hit everybody take out. And, take take out offer flow. Yeah. Take out stops, take out liquidity. Yeah. I, I see it time and time and time and time, and time again. Well, yeah. I have to say, this has probably been one of the more enjoyable calls. I'm not going to lie, uh, trader interviews. Um, Chris, thank you very, very much for, for popping in. Of course, we'd love to do this again. We're definitely going to do it again, probably in a few months to see how you're progressing with us, of course, uh, on, on your journey. Um, thank you, obviously, very, very much for joining us today, because I know, obviously, not easy when you're currently in positions and currently in trades and, and trying to hit <laughs> the daily goals well, and targets. So obviously, greatly appreciate for that as well. And of course, with, it, with all seriousness, um, best of luck for 2023 as well. And of course, yeah. hopefully you'll continue to scale up with us as well through the course of the year and continue progressing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I look, listen, even though I was in, you know, I was in, you know, position hoping, you know, did you, was I worried, you know, did you see my emotions? No. Fairly <laughs> relaxed. I know. You know yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, you know, it's, it is, you have to, like I said, you have, nobody can teach you. You have to learn on your own, you know, yeah. have that patience, you know. Trust your setup. I, I like I said, I know it was gonna come down. If I didn't know, I would have never got in an extra three trades. You know, was came in. You know, when the price was actually already above me. You know, yeah, exactly. but like I said, I trust my setup. I know, right? And I and and that's just the way I am. And I, I hope, you know, I want other traders to, to, you know, to, you know, take if they can take anything away from this interview, right? Is keep working at it. Don't give up you know, perfect your strategy, you know, you don't, I, I've seen it many times, you know, traders will have their own strategy, then you'll see, you know, somebody like me or somebody else, maybe like Amos or like those guys get a big payout and they don't want to find, they want to do, you know, what's your strategy, you know, like maybe not everybody works the same way. Not, my strategy won't work for, you know, maybe other time people might work for two, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's the thing, like just, just stick with it, you know, stick with your own strategy, just perfect it, just keep working on it, back test it, right just trying to perfect it and and that's that's all it's like that and have the consistency have you know have the patience the market never goes one way it never goes straight up it never goes straight down you know, up pull back yeah. down whatever it is sideways right give it give it time you know once once your setup is there give it time let it let the market do what it have to do you know be patient if you know if you're going you know a 10 lots okay scale back come back you know do five lots do three lots you know, give your chance to maybe be in a trade a little bit longer. You know, if you like to hold it like like I do, okay, I'm mean, you're uncomfortable doing 10, 5 lots, do three lots. Yeah. You know, so that way you can hold it longer and give it time to maybe come back. All really about giving yourself more control, isn't it? It's 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 having absolute control in, in the decision making process, but also how it affects your dis how it affects the outcomes or decisions that you make on your actions. And I think that's really, really important as well. Um, yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, like I said, you know, that's that's what it is, you know, and like I said, maybe you maybe try out, you know, try the daily goal, have a daily goal instead of, you know, maybe chasing 20 pips or, or you know, doing one-to-one. -one. But like I said, I, I won't, you know, knock anybody because like I said, we're all different, right? We all trade our own way. We all have our own, you know, ways we trade. But listen, it, you know, it might work for one or two. It might not work. But, you know, I just want to help as, you know, every, you know, much as I can, you know, for, for them to get to, you know, consistent to be profitable you know take, take what the market gives you like don't be greedy man like that's that's the number one killer greed don't be greedy man just yeah. take what it gives you for sure for sure for sure wise words wise words chris uh well look have a great day chris uh chris uh obviously have a great week and best of luck for 2023 of course we're gonna definitely have you back again for another uh a ramble and discussion i love it L love to have them love to yeah, have them. uh and of course yeah. as i said obviously be best luck with the scaling up as well with us uh, and, and of course through 2023 as well thanks a million for joining yeah. us today thank you so much here i want to say something for real. <laughs> and i know I'm, we're probably going too long right but to be honest i was i never like prop firms i was always against it all right okay because this is an interesting yeah, one cause I'm like, <laughs> yeah because i'm like why you know why would i you know i can trade and use my own money and, and you know i'll keep all the profits mm -hmm. why do i need a prop firm you know why am i doing all the hard work and i gotta split my you know but here's the difference. What I, learned, you know, as time went on, and when I first got into the prop firm, I only started doing prop firm maybe six months or so, maybe I okay. want to say. Um, 
But the difference is it gives you more capital for, uh, you know, for very little, let's say a week, you know, pay, right? So it gives you more capital to work with, right? To, to get better, to, 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 to make you better, right? And I have, I have used many prop firms and not because, you know, I'm with you guys now or I got paid out, but something with ACG made me felt like this is, was home for me. Like I felt comfortable, you know, the, the discord is, is amazing. You know, support is amazing. Admin's amazing. And like, you know, I'm, I'm always, an, they always answer me quick as possible. And um, yeah, man, like, I felt like from day one, like I felt, you know, proper here. And, you know, even if somebody in the watch an Alex interview, you know, like other prop firm, they tell you, oh, we, we want you, you know, we want you to be funny with us and you'll do this and do that. But yet, you know, there's always a hidden, you know, agenda. Like with you guys, there's zero trades, you know, commissions on trades, simple rules to follow. I mean, if you reach one, it's not like you fail right away. They, you know, you guys work with, with your traders. And I can honestly say you guys actually want traders to succeed here. You know, like that's you guys' goal. And, and I really, really, you know, appreciate that. I, I love that about you guys. And like I said, you know, if it from day one, man, to this day, if it, it feels like home, like, you know, this was meant to be, and it was crazy. I didn't know about you guys. It just, I was scrolling through my Facebook, you know, uh, one day and I saw an ad popped up, you know, I'm like, what the heck? I never seen these guys before. I never heard about them. Yeah. You know, and yeah, just hopped on it, took it and here we are. Here we are. The rest is history as the saying goes, the rest is history. Yeah. Well, well, look, <laughs> as I said, Chris, we'll be, we'll be definitely back for another call and see how you're progressing through 2023. Uh, and of course, till next time, Chris, Chris, obviously, thank you very much. Uh, and obviously, it's a yeah, man, thank you guys. Cheers. Yeah, man, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Have a great week.